how to control your thoughts and your mind to manifest anything. Well, I'm Constance Arnold, host on the Law of Attraction Radio Network for the past 15 years and a professional counselor for the past 30. So we know that our thoughts are energetic and vibrational. And actually, you don't see the world as things are. You see the world and view the world as you are. So we think 70,000 thoughts a day and 91% of them are the same old thoughts. So we keep what creating the same thing. So how could we begin to control our thinking and our thoughts, that 9%? What can we do differently? We know that your thinking or your thoughts always precedes your manifestation. And the law of attraction says that whatever your dominant thought backed up with emotion is, is what you're going to manifest. So let me give you my own story. 30 years ago, filed bankruptcy, feeling bad about myself. And I didn't know it at the time, but God was really teaching me how to change my thoughts. And I wrote down a couple of things I want you to take a look at. This is part one, because in part two, I'm going to tell you how, could, how you can do that. So here I am. The Spirit said, uh, uh, go look for a Mercedes. Maybe you're in a place right now where you feel like you need to do something big and you're wondering, well, why God? Why? How? I don't know how I'm going to do that. So this is what God was doing. He was teaching me to look beyond my own natural circumstances, change my thinking. Uh, he taught me how to move beyond my 3D world. Uh, it helped to really change my self-image because I felt so much shame around that particular situation. So every Saturday, I would go to the dealer. They saw me coming. They had the key ready. I was test driving. I felt that Mercedes. I would look at the emblem. What was I doing? Changing my thinking, changing my mindset. I could have this. I did not know how. I purchased a Mercedes keychain, and the dealer gave me just an old Mercedes key. I bought a Mercedes license plate, and while I was driving my Toyota Corolla, in my mind, I was changing my thinking, changing my world, and God was trying to teach me, do not limit yourself by your 3D world. So I did that for six months. I lived that. I felt that. Uh, and six months later, I purchased it. Stay tuned for part two.